Legion, Season 1, Episode 7, Thoughts. This episode is called Chapter 7. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything X-Men leading up to and including this episode. Yeah, the show is rated TVMA, and so will this video be. Let's dive right in. And... Let's see. The... Yeah. <laughs> Quite appreciate the, the contrast, the irony in the opening, you know. Meditation in 20 minutes, and then the, the, let's see, I think it's that one of the, a light bulb explodes or something, just, yeah. And, yeah, so creepy and scary when the eye is following Carrie with a K, and, you know, it's in slow motion, and there's this crowd that have, like, this zombie vibe to them, like, not, you know, eating people, but, like, a, a faceless horde that that surround you and and yeah you know in in yeah visually they appear to be patients at the institution and yeah the yellow eyed demon and then Lenny questions Amy very very creepy also and uh, let's see then yeah also good scene between Carrie with a C and Oliver and yeah <laughs> what is daylight savings oh it's you know you move the clock one hour ahead or back that's it I thought you were literally saving daylight and Is she Chinese? Japanese. She's she's not Asian in, in any way. Are you sure? And I, m sorry, my, my memory is going. Uh, it's uh, I've been here for hours. Or what's longer than hours? <laughs> There's an understatement. And and the, 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 I'm sorry. Are you, are you going to do this the whole time? Are you, you, know, are you going to keep finishing my sentences? You know, and 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 carry with the seeds. Like I'm, I'm sorry. Is this a force of habit? You know, it's a lot of the time he's talking to to, to carry with a K and yeah, finishing her sentences. <laughs> I loved it. Oliver's still all about the barbershop quartet. You know, when when David arrived, he was like, if we get two more. We can, you know, we can make a barbershop quartet, and then you know, now Carrie's here. We j we j we just need one more guy. Is that is there any way you could make that happen? I I really want a barbershop quartet in my ice cube, you know, cryogenic chamber prison. And yeah, um, we finally get clear. You know, we're we're told that. The the um, the yellow eye demon is in fact Amal Farouk, the Shadow King. Very very cool. Yeah, um, he's in the comics. He also made at least one appearance on the '90s animated X Men show. And yeah, just you know, such a yeah, really cool character and does make a lot of sense you know the the yeah the the power set that he displays on this show so far really lines up with the the comics and the anim 90s animated show and I, I, f I love how Oliver is so calm and casual about, you know, you know now that now that David's here. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, David right there, you know, banging for dear life on the on the ice, his, his voice muffled, clearly terrified. Yeah, that's, that's him. Mm -hmm. And the, the, let's see, yeah, um, Oliver and... Carry with a C agree about the you know the device that he invented might help, which I quite appreciate because when he invented it, he was like, I know I I don't 
I'm not saying it would do any good. I'm just saying now we have the option, and now it's going to save the day, you know. And the, yeah, um, Carrie with a C manages to get Sydney into the, the little thing, and they can talk, and Sid knows everything about what's going on. I know, I've been paying attention, you know, and and Carrie with a C is like, I, this is this is unfamiliar territory for me. And, you know, he gives her the they live glasses. I'm I'm here for it. This it's just absolutely amazing. It even, you know, just like in They Live, it makes everything black and white, but also reveals the, the truth underneath. And let's see. Um I do not remember. Oh, right, right, yeah. Um, Oliver and Melanie both in the, you know, both witnessing the real world, not quite able to affect it just yet. And, and you know, just fantastic acting by Gene Smart. You know, really just, what's the word? Like, she's feeling so much at being so close to Oliver again after all this time after you know holding out hope being told to give up hope and and you know she can't express it all right now so just, you know it's it's right under underneath the surface and in the air and you know she spots the the blood and manages to find Rudy really creepy love the the like there's this bit where like the um, the camera focuses away from you know focus shifts to this this little drop of blood and it's like dripping upwards instead of downwards just yeah and yeah Carrie with a K is also also receives a set of glasses and now has a much better chance of making it and <laughs> David's rational the the rational part of his mind is British like I said rational which like in real life um, Dan Stevens is British so I maybe this is just his normal accent I, I don't know enough. Um, it's it says he's from Croydon. I can't tell if that's a Croydon accent, but yeah. Um, and you know, the rest of the time he's doing an American accent. That's the put on accent for sure. And and yeah, the, the you know, okay, focus. Make us a classroom with a blackboard. Nicely done. Those are some very nice blackboards. And. Yeah, they realize, you know, the yellow-eyed demon devil must be a fellow mutant. And so he, like, draws, and then we get this, like, minimalist animation, like, essentially stick figure animation with the blackboard as a, a background. Just, yeah, fantastic. You know, yet another, add, add that to the list of all the different stylistic choices that this show makes. And, you know, the, the, yeah, when they talk about adoption, he does, you know, he, he thinks, oh, you know, maybe it was to protect me, or maybe it had nothing to do with the monster, maybe they just didn't want me. And, you know, Rational Mind David is like, you gotta focus here, let's, you know. And then there's a, there's a part where David is standing in the shot, and like moving, and, you know, live action, and there's like the minimalist animation is on one of the blackboards and later it's like all of the different blackboards and it's like different parts you know one of them showing the battle between D David's father and the the monster and you know just yeah different parts just and I love so yeah it's black and white and there's no audio yeah so <laughs> The glasses block out the the noise as well. I yeah you know it's it's all in the mind anyway, so it doesn't you know doesn't have to make like logical sense. Also you know how could glasses 
just like that, just block out all these hallucinations. But then we get silent film dialogue, like you know, stuff is written, you know, the the so they're like shouting names, and and there's a point where like Lenny, you know, makes an appearance. You know, let's see. I think moves, yeah, moves from the white room into the the hospital, and and becomes Lenny. And then it has like the, the you know, the the ah, what do you call that? Um, yeah, the the kind of text that like establishes something. You know, the the monster has arrived. You know, and she's like, you you should rise when you when your king makes an appearance. Something like that. Just yeah. And Lenny just like crumples up the eye like a wad of paper because she doesn't need him anymore. You know, she did want for him to soften up Carrie with a K, but that's not, you know, she's right there. And and then she said, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you out, and she does the finger gun, and it seems like it is actually going to affect you know the the others like move their their heads to the side just yeah but the let's see yeah they they do manage to to save the day at least very temporarily leave it on just you know just in case and you know melanie has to check and it, Looks like Oliver is gone, but no, it's just he already left the. Th or did he leave the thing because it's lying there still? Yeah, he's he's out. That's the most important part, and he's like you know serving brunch. It looks like you know like scrambled eggs and sausage and bacon and such. Just yeah, and yeah, Carrie with a K. Feels that Carrie with a C abandoned her when she really needed him, and yeah, you know, makes sense to to be upset about. You know, usually they're always there for for the other. And let's see, yeah, Amy tells David some of the some of the details of the adoption. An angry boy makes an appearance in the window. And it's like, okay, yeah, it's, uh, maybe let's let's do this. And I like that. So Oliver tells Melanie, you know, have I ever told you about? The, and and it's I I think he's talking about the the thing that we heard, you know, we heard him tell her as a when when he was a coffee making robot in in an earlier episode and. At the end of that, she also said, you know, tell me the story again, you know. And here, again, tell me the story again. You know, she, yeah, it's it's very, very sweet. And let's see. You know, if, uh, considering how much the, the show brings up sex, you know, if the show was actually crass about it, yeah, you know, the two of them would immediately jump back into bed or something. And um, see, right, right, and the yeah, the division shows up, and they're arrested, and Oliver, the legend, takes a sip of the of the drink. Cause like, they've got guns on you. They're they're you know they're watching your every movement. You could get shot for this. Let's take a sip. And. Clark shows back up, all two-faced. The Joker made him peach cobbler, and let's see the um, yeah. And you know he says mm, just kill the rest of them, and then we you know we go deep into to David's mind, and you know Lenny, the yellow eyed demon, the angry boy, is is like banging on the the box that they they buried them in that that David and the others buried them in and they managed to break through and the episode ends it's like holy crap um yeah i'm going to i'm going to see if i can't make it happen so that i can watch the the season finale tomorrow because yeah that's 
I, it's, I, I really sympathize with anyone who had to wait an entire week back when this first aired. Um, yes, so IMDb trivia. Let's see. Yeah, someone else added the thing about, you know, Dan being, Dan Stevens being British and the, the rational mind has a British accent. Oh, according to Noah Hawley, show creator, it was Dan Stevens who suggested that David's rational mind should have a British accent. In addition to referencing Stevens' real-life nationality and David's parentage, it also pokes fun at the stereotypical notion of a British accent being associated with intelligence and sophistication. And let's see. In, yeah, in comic books, Amal Farouk is one of many hosts the Shadow King took over the years. However, he is the most recognizable one. He also fought Charles Xavier under this form, giving him the idea about a group dedicated to protect humankind by evil. From evil mutants, I'm, I'm guessing that's supposed to mean. Supposed to say. And let's see. Um. <laughs> During Oliver's conducting with the music of Ravel's Bolero, its passion seems to ignite everyone, especially David, who is now unleashed. When Oliver is conducting the letters to build a shield and protect Sid and David from the bullets, the letters actually spell out the word shield over and over again. Very nice. And let's see. Right, it was also very cool when, you know, yeah, it looks like, oh no, David was, was shot, but no, he, he caught the bullets. Very cool. Yeah, um, really, really excited to see the, the finale. And I will close this video with the Oliver Bird quote from this episode. On the chest of a barmaid in sail were tattooed all the prices of ale, and on her behind, for the sake of the blind, was the same information in Braille. <laughs>